What's up everyone? It is Big Banks and we're back again for another video. This is uh, a very unique mansion that we are in. As you can see, there's a giant gorilla about the size of me in here. This place is nicknamed Villa Gorilla, actually, as you can tell. We're gonna try to figure out some stuff about this place, but kind of what we think it is, is I mean, this guy was definitely into some freaky stuff. There's a lot of uh, weird mask around the house. There's like porn. There's uh, a lot of just weird things throughout this entire place. We kind of, you know, we did a little walkthrough just to kind of figure out what might have happened. It's hard to tell though, but definitely into some freaky stuff. But they definitely had a lot of money. This is just an amazing place. There's everything still in here. There's vehicles outside, there's a boat, there's a pool, there's everything. This place is just absolutely gorgeous. And you got this guy here. <laughs> but anyways, I'm with a band in Nashville. We're continuing this trip. And I think this is gonna be a good one. This guy may have been a porn star, I think. I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We go on epic adventures every single Saturday. Without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> In today's episode, we take a look inside a modern, luxurious mansion that was left behind in 2016. The man and woman to live here owned a chain of party stores. But inside the home, you can see that at least one person did much more than party. What we could gather is the man started creating adult films after his wife passed away in 2014. He kept every video he ever made inside a closet inside the home. In 2016, he had gotten into some legal troubles and the home was seized and everything was left inside. So join me today and let's see what's left. So here's the pool. Here's the boat. See the back of the house? See that little castle part of it? It's beautiful. It's looking at this place, they wouldn't think it's abandoned. But this is this is cool to say the least, but let's go check out the front real quick. So it's actually a Mercedes. That's sick. Look at how like bad it looks, man. It does look like an ambulance, huh? Yeah. Very cool. This is the front of the house, guys, and this is the van that's left here. It definitely does look like an ambulance. It's pretty wild. Check that out. Look at the castle. This house is just incredible. You know what's crazy is Look at that. See this house from the road. Now it's time to go inside. I know I filmed the intro inside, but we're gonna go inside and we're gonna check out what's all in there. You guys know this place is gonna be absolutely insane. It looks like a castle out here. It looks like a modern castle. Not really like an old castle, but definitely a modern one. There's this Mercedes out here. There's a boat, there's a pool, everything. And all this stuff is inside. So let's go inside and let's check it out. And hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to start you off in the main living room of the 
whole house. You got basically like one, two, like three or four different living spaces in this entire place. It's kind of amazing, but it's really strange at the same time, but it is like a castle, like I said, so it's, it's pretty massive. It's a pretty big building, but there's a lot of really nice furniture in here, as you can tell already, but we're gonna go through this. So I'm gonna start you guys off in here. So we're gonna go over this way, work our way around the house, and then we're gonna go upstairs and see the bedrooms. There's also some weird, there's a lot of weird things up there, so you're gonna stay tuned for that. Let's go. So this is our first little living area right here. There's multiple green couches, some matching, sofa right there and we have some of these strange like taxidermied animals here I don't even know what this is it looks really bad though it almost looks like a little dog but really nice furniture this is like a green marble it has the speakers under it the nice leather couches and then there's like these weird masks that are all over the house and this is just one that's like up for decor but there's a lot of different like really strange ones throughout the place and like I said there's like four living spaces in this place because there's like that little seating area this seating area another one in there and another one back there so it's like kind of strange right here there's a lot of little tiny statues it's like a mother with her child really kind of like older looking ones I got some books. I'm not really sure what these are. This is all gonna be in like French. That looks Egyptian right there. There's even more of those on that side. I wonder what these books were for. And then right below it is like all these board games, things like that. So I mean, there was like a family. It's just hard to believe that all this stuff is left in here. So it's like, makes you really wonder what happened to them leave literally everything like I'm talking like every single thing is still inside this house the last date I saw was 2010 but I'm sure it was abandoned a little bit later than that I want to say it's probably been abandoned for like five years but we're gonna find out for sure we're still in this living room here and we have a beautiful fireplace check that out with all of these little statues on it got the little angels This is like a crystal and it's like a bird. There's two of them, but these are like for books. So you would put books in between this. You got a nice, very ornate little mirror here. You see the spider webs are kind of growing within it. And then there's more taxidermy. This is just a pheasant. You see a lot of pheasants here in Europe. But yeah, that fireplace is really pretty. It's just a gas fireplace more beautiful like antiques i'm not really even sure what this is but this like oh, yeah this comes out we've got more of these little statues everywhere and this might have been the guy that that lived in the house before just like a little sketch of him very well done the plants are not alive jeremy how many times do people say it's not abandoned because the plants are alive oh uh, yeah those are those are definitely fake they're fake plants <laughs> Like, we remember, okay, so me and Jeremy, we did a exploration a while back. It was oh, probably a God. year ago, right? The oranges. The oranges. Fake decor, guys. There is such thing as fake fruit for decorations. <laughs> Looks like some more board games. Oh, and there's like a whole collection of CDs here. A ton of them. They're all still just lined up in there. It's all good. It looks like all French artists. I mean, I don't think they're going to be like listening to, you know, American stuff. But there is ACDC here. So I may have been a little wrong. I may have spoken a little too soon. This is still in the case, too. It's still like got plastic wrap on it. And then you have this beautiful chandelier hanging right here. Love to see the chandelier still hanging up. A lot of people just steal those right off the bat. So it's nice to see that still here. I think the floors are marble floors, by the way. You got your table here. A little bowl, nothing really in it, but now we're gonna come around. You're gonna see the gorilla. There's even a Mona Lisa there, so we're gonna check that out. And all this rest of this stuff. 
So let's check out what, le what else is left in here. Um, so we have this table here. It's kind of randomly just here. I don't really know why it's here. The space is so large. I feel like you could do so much with this space, but on this table, it looks like there's just regular old tools here. A lot of keys. Maybe that's for the house itself. Maybe that's for the boat outside. I have an old boxing glove. <laughs> that's pretty sick. But then we have a beautiful little cabinet. And look at this. Look at this stuff that is left in here. It's like all got gold trim around it. It's beautiful. Of course you got the skeleton key to open it up. Look at that. Beautiful painting hanging up there. Some chalices here. Nice. You can tell the dust. It's been sitting there for quite a while. Then of course we're gonna open up more and this is all gonna still be here. This is like for soups and stuff. See these at like uh, Japanese like restaurants use this to eat the soup. It's pretty cool. We got a lot of just china. And I love the pink little moldings that are on all the walls, even on above that chandelier there. There's this pink moldings. And the accents are pink, like inside of that. And on the staircase, it's all pink. But check this out. So you have this, which would be, it's like a little cart that you probably bring like wine on and stuff. Some alcohol laying right there already. Maybe some snacks would be there, I'm not too sure. But then you have this fancy Victorian furniture. And check that out. It's like this green color. Look at that, the details in it. And of course you have Mr. Gorilla here. Look how big he is, he's huge. This is a giant gorilla. That's why they call this place Villa Gorilla. And not only that, it's a freaking Mona Lisa replica right here. Honestly, that's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty dope. <laughs> You guys know I love art, and the Mona Lisa is the most famous art piece in the entire world. So, it's two couches, and then one sofa here. Beautiful details in it. I love the green, I love the wood carvings and all of it. It's just an amazing piece of furniture. So, I'm seeing on the floor here, these little, you guys know what these are? Fourth of July? throw these on the ground and they pop. So it looks like somebody just had a heyday with these in this house. Then check this out. Here's another cabinet full of these like little tea cups here. These are probably the tiniest little cup. Look at, look at it compared to my hand. <laughs> but I want you to get a good overlook of this room. You can tell there's like a library going up the top there. Beautiful staircase with a marble. Even little statues everywhere, check that out. But this is a huge living space. Then right here, this looks like a little jewelry box. Still a little bit of jewelry left in it. Not much. Got these little, I thought that might've been an urn at first, but there's nothing in it. This could be a lady that used to live here, and they might have been religious too, because there's some religious things in here, but like I said, they were into some freaky stuff, whoever was in here. And you'll just see when we get upstairs. to the next living area right over here we're gonna see what that's like so right in here 
This is like another living area. And look, there's more masks because of Donald Duck mask. But you got the leather sofas everywhere. You got the nice carpet. I mean, this is just a nice place here. Right over here, there's a shelf and there's, look at this, this is a movie about Hitler. It's like some uh, show about Hitler or something. Underneath, there's more movies, like VHS movies. And then up in here, It's like volumes of stuff. I'm not sure what they are. We have our, our lamp. We have the glasses still here. This is probably their glasses that they wore. But look at this. I think this was a cat. Yeah, this was the cat and it's dead. It died right here on the couch. That's really sad. This is a beautiful little living room. The couches are very nice. The table is very nice. And then you have this area over here that's just more of the china, the chalices, and all that stuff. There's no telling what's all hidden in this place. But we're not going to like go through and dig through everything. But just check out what we can see. Look at this glass. This is quite an amazing place. This is even a bottle opener that has like shells and what not in there. But yeah, these cabinets are just full of glasses and all of that stuff. So maybe they were big drinkers of champagne or wine or all that stuff. These are probably like little Polaroids. Yeah, these are little Polaroids right here. It's cool, you see, I've seen those quite a few times in, while exploring in Europe. Right on the mantle here, we have more statues and here's even a bottle you'd put like your liquor in and stuff like that. Here's even an old video camera right here. That's pretty pretty neat. No one normally see those in places either. Looks like there might have been like a bird or something in here at one point. Maybe it died. Maybe it like got in somehow and died. But we're gonna exit this room now. Let's see. Let's get a little overlook of the whole thing. See that? See all the couches? So this is like this is probably where they hung out the most. It looks more like a, a comfy area for family to hang out. Maybe, I mean, there's no TV in here, so obviously they didn't watch TV in here. Uh, but maybe this was like just their normal family room right here. We come out. This is like one of the front doors. There's a several doors to get in this place. Um, right in here is where their coats went. So it's like a little, little door you could put your coats in. And then this is the kitchen. So here in the kitchen, let's see what's in there. This is probably like a pantry. There's no fridge though, so maybe they took the fridge out. Oh, this is the fridge. There's no food in it, so that's good. But that's, I would not have expected that. That's the fridge. Whoa, okay. <laughs> this is your kitchen here. They must have had, a, yeah, see there's the cat. There's cat food. Look, here's even. Okay, so this expires in 2016. So maybe that's when this place went abandoned, 2016. There's even some Belgian chocolate there. Gotta love that. It's just random things up there. Look, here's all their like pans. Look at that. That looks like something out of Egypt or something. That looks amazing. This place is just one of a kind. Some more of their stuff. This beer that hasn't even been opened yet. Cabinet full of the glasses. What do you know? <laughs> this is a cool place. And then here's like a little little pantry area. There's like Fanta's still in there. Uh, like sweeps. A lot of rat. A lot of rat poo. All right, guys, well, we're gonna head upstairs now. We're gonna see um, what's up there, and we're gonna end on the other side of the house downstairs. So there's still a lot, a lot to see. So let's go upstairs and let's see what that's like. Alright everyone, I have to 
duck down just a little bit, but we have made it upstairs. This is like the library little section. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. And even in this little area right here, there's like a secret door that I'm gonna show you. But we just made it upstairs. Jeremy's downstairs right now. I can see him literally overlooking that huge area. And I'll show you what it looks like from my point of view with these chandeliers and everything. Just an amazing place we're in right now. But we are really tired. It's jet lag is really hitting us hard but we're gonna do our best in this spot. So, coming up this like beautiful staircase, this like marble staircase, has beautiful accents on it. It's like brass or gold. Definitely not like real gold, but probably could be real brass. And then, you have three identical chandeliers that go across. Very beautiful chandeliers, to say the least. And, like I said before, they have the pink moldings. I love how much pink is in this house. Really gives it that cool character. As you come upstairs, the first thing you're gonna see is these glass shelves all across this hallway right here. There's like portraits, it's like a little mannequin's head, like a little styrofoam head. There's books, there's all kinds of things. Look at this, this is freaking weird. What the heck is this? Is this a deer's foot, bro? <laughs> uh, I think it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Why is it shaped in a heart on the wood? That is freaking weird. Yeah, magazines. They had a lot of magazines in this place. Dirty ones and regular ones. Some art left up here. There's art in this room as well. And check out all these books. It's like little knights here, little soldiers. Books all around. I don't know what's in these. Oh snap. Some more books, National Geographic books there. They're still in the plastic. Not something you'd normally see in Europe, I wouldn't think. Shotgun shell. But maybe they hunted because there's a you know a pheasant taxidermy down there. Looks like in these shelves it's just like another place for their other books. It kinda didn't go well together right here. Because you can tell like all these are supposed to be Put together, it's like a collection. I don't know any of these books. This looks like a bando on the book. <laughs> See, this is still in the plastic. This looks like a board game of some sort. Some more National Geographics down here. Check that out, it's still in the plastic. And then there's this beautiful molding that goes all across. But here is where it gets weird. This is like a secret door. So, if you were to move this, you can see the hinges are on the inside. So if you were to close this, you wouldn't be able to tell it was there. And then back here is just like storage for a bunch of stuff. I can't really fit back here, being so tall. But the other boxing gloves back here, it looks like they might have just used this as storage, but it is hidden. So it's kind of strange. Makes you wonder. But I definitely cannot fit back here. These like purses that are still in plastic. Looks like cheap purses though. Like something you'd sell at like a venue. But I'm gonna take you guys back on this side. We're gonna go into our first bedroom. So in here, it's like when you first walk in, it's like red, like fabric wallpaper. Yeah, it's like fabric. Then you can see back here, there's like art that's just been kind of left in this little this little nook back here you can only imagine like the stuff that's underneath all of this like I imagine somebody probably died and then they kind of just didn't go through everything and kind of just hid things maybe that they couldn't get but with people being rich like this you can only wonder what could be hidden in these boxes like there could be rolexes there could be money could be gold like you never know and this is the family that i was looking at so that sketch that we saw earlier is that man and it looks like there's a son two daughters or maybe that's even a grandma i don't know it's hard to tell but yeah it looks like a family of five or a family of four could have just lived here. 
But there's a TV right here. This box is just full of stuff. I just wonder what's all over there, but I don't want to like dig through things. You know what I mean? It's not my place. I want to respect the property. So I'm not going to dig through their stuff. Another painting of like a castle. This is very beautiful. We have the bed here. It's just a queen size bed. And this room looks like it's kind of been ransacked. But all the clothes are still folded up. Here's all the ties, the man's ties. Still in this box. A lot of little knickknacks right in here. But yeah, this is the bed. And it's just got a bunch of stuff on it. Oh my goodness, this is in the living room. More photos, maybe they're in the house. Look, this is in the house for sure. It's an older lady. All this stuff is still sitting in there too, which is pretty bizarre. Looks like they had plants all in the house. Look at all that furniture. Still, a lot of that's still in here too. Which blows my mind. And you find photos of inside their house and that we're literally exploring. Here's like a matador. It's like a postcard. I like the red. There's like a lot of red accents. But yeah, there's even stuff under the bed. There's stuff all over here. There's like a little record player here. We have a keyboard. Probably still works if we plugged it in. Even a microphone. So maybe she was like singing. Maybe she sang choir or something for their church or whatever. But that's beautiful. The music is still set up. Amazing. And see, I believe that this is sketches of their kids. The son and the daughter. All of clothes still folded up, her purses are still laying in here. And look at this. Here is a back scratcher. And the thing to put your shoes on. That's pretty cool. And I'm getting a cool glow from this bathroom right here. So let's check out this bathroom. Gotta see what's in here. Look at that. There's your sink. It's got the red floors. It's got the jetted tub. Very nice. Some big spiders that died in there, you can see. Check out the stuff that's in here though. Even the the like the heater in here is red. You got Febreze. Wonder if we can make this place smell a little better. It smells like somebody has been using the bathroom in here. So let's make this bando smell good. There we go. Smells nice and fresh now. <laughs> There's even books in here, so maybe when you're taking a number two, you can read a book. Maybe when you're taking a bath, you can read a book. Look, here's like some cologne. Here's some uh, different makeup, some razors, whatnot. Here's more of the same kind of stuff, but for women's. Dang, I made this room smell good. Jeremy's gonna come up here and be like, yo, why does this room smell so good? Didn't smell like that earlier. <laughs> My goodness, this is just one bedroom. So this must have been like maybe the master bedroom. It is kind of large, I mean, it's, it's larger than the rest. But there's a lot of stuff in here and it looks like uh, this would be the master over all the rest of them. Um, it's pretty cool. But the other rooms have a lot more stuff in them, so we're gonna check those out. And uh, I just scared myself. I saw myself in the freaking mirror over there and I thought, oh my gosh. Here's your books. And these are like really strange. They look like really naughty books. I'm going to say like, you know, that looks kind of like a naughty book. Uh, I think these are like raunchy romance novels or something. And then, even in here, you can open this up and get a look out into the main living room. So guys, we're gonna walk across the hall. We're gonna go to the other bedrooms. And this is where it gets really weird. Some of the things we see over here, like really, really weird. So let's check it out and let me, let me know what you guys think. There is a, uh, like an exercise bike. Not too weird, you know? We have the bed, 
You know, this must have been like maybe the girls' room. It feels like a girls' room. There's a lot of little things left behind. Here's a robe, here's some high heels. You know, things like that. So this was probably the girls' room. But everything is so cluttered because it looks like it's been kind of ransacked. So, clothes are still left in here. step over all this ah oh, here we go this is an obituary type thing she was born in 1926 and she died in 2013 that could explain the raunchy stuff that we're gonna see because she died and maybe he uh, had to find a way to cope and you know make himself happy I don't know. But either way, it says she died in 2013, and I'm just I'm just saying that because we saw um, the expiration date on those snacks, and those snacks usually don't last long, anyways. Um, definitely not for three years, I don't think. 2016 seems like the last time somebody lived here, so we're gonna keep going with that until we find something else. I mean, we see yarn, we see little bits of jewelry. Looks like rats have been through this. We have more family photos. We have like little games here and there. Dora the Explorer. You know. So this must have been like the girl's room of the house. Which makes sense. And there is some tennis rackets. A few of them. There's quite a few down here. A lot of books on the shelves. Um, nice couch right here. For some reason. That's just up here in this little corner. Maybe this was a little seating area. There's a lot of room in this house, a lot of room all together. Beautiful, but here is where we're gonna go to where it gets a little bit weird. First off, what is this? <laughs> then here's where we start seeing the magazines. There's tons and tons of magazines. These aren't the dirty ones. There's actually a closet literally dedicated to all the dirty mags that he has. But this room is cool. This is in like the little uh, castle looking part of the house. I don't know why this like scaffolding thing is here, but it has like a lot of his stuff on it. Here's even pornos right there. But here's a staircase, and we'll go down and see the, this side of the house after we see all of upstairs. Look, here's even like a molding for a mask. Looks like Elvis Presley. Come through an arched doorway with a lot of spider webs. You got a whole hallway right here. See, this is a big mansion. Here's, your, here's another bathroom. You got the toilet, the bidet. And look, this is like, this is like soccer medals. There's a few of them there. There's a patch. Might have been like, looks like something for tools, honestly. Yo, but look at this. <laughs> look at that. There is a freaking huge tub here. And there's some animal skin rug that's inside of it, but I'm not sure what it is. You know what's crazy about Europe is like, there's no AC in places, so you have to open these big windows to get some airflow. Last night, we probably got the worst sleep of our lives. It was so bad. Like, it was just so hot. Uh, we had to sleep on the same bed, and it was just miserable. And we had to wake up early to come here. And now we have to make another like five hour drive to another spot. So basically we're only going to film like two places today. And we're going to try to get our rest so we can start going really hard on this trip. We still have a lot of days left. It's only day three. I'm definitely not going to upload these in chronological order, but we're just going to go with the flow, you know. But there's a lot of weird stuff in this bathroom, so we're going to keep checking it out. So along with this like weird tub here there's like boxes and these boxes like this has like party balloons this like stuff that is still in the packaging like the little kids these little toys everything like that and it's like all throughout the house is stuff like that it's just so random you got your your medicine i don't know what this medicine is because it's all in a different language from a different country, so I'm not really going to know what it is. Um, 
you got your toothpaste, your toothbrush is still in here, your, your Q-tips, deodorants on this side. This is a pretty nice bathroom, to say the least, honestly. Oh, this is good stuff, Boss Cologne. It's actually really good, but it's empty, dang. But you can see how moldy it is in here. We have a closet, but I want to show you what's in these boxes that I see. Like this is literally just random, random stuff. This is like a hot dog, keychain, whatever. Love these toys. Now one side of this closet is pretty normal. There's just stuff storaged. You know, there's another one of these toys. So it's like they bought bulk of things, which I don't really understand. There's like bulk things in this place. I don't know why. There's a whole box of lighters here. I don't think they work anymore, but either way. Yo, this freaked me out. Would that not freak you out if you saw this? What the freak? Oh my gosh, that is, that is terrifying. And this, guys, is the porn stash. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I have to blur it all out, but there is porn everywhere. There's magazines, there's uh, videotapes. This is his stash of porn. All these VH tape, VHS tapes are probably porn. There's more mask. That's an Elvis Presley mask again. I just noticed this too. Look at this. This is a fencing helmet. It's actually quite heavy. But you put this on when you go when you're like fencing. And for people that don't know what fencing is, it's like it's like sword fighting. That's so weird. It's kind of freaky, honestly. But in the room, right to my left here, we have. Which looks like maybe a game type room. There's a pool table here. Still got the pool balls. I don't see the, the billiard sticks, but they're probably here somewhere. But look at that. You got the pool table here. It's a nice pool table. You got the random toys on it. They're just random crap. You come over here and it's looking like this is where he did some work. There's like a, it's like a desk almost. There's records all up in there. Record player, amplifiers. And look, you could put like beers and stuff in these and you could twist it and get your own beer or liquor or whatever. I just want to know what all this random like, like look, here's like a bulk of those uh, these like spray guns. It's like so random bulk sunglasses there's more lighters there's more boxes just full of stuff oh guys there's poo in here <sighs> it's fake you got I fooled you guys look at that it's fake poop <laughs> all right now we get to this other bedroom and it looks like it's pretty uh, ransacked as well. There's a lot of stuff on the bed. I wonder if family did this, like going through to try to find things. You know, here's a cool looking jacket. But this room, I'm gonna say it was like the kids room, like the boys room. That's what it looks like. Has a nice bed. And this is a pretty cool part of the bed. And one thing about Belgium is a lot of times they leave the power on. So the lights do come on in here. So just check out this room. Everything is still in here. Got marble. Here's even like some old money. This looks like just some euros, things like that. But there's just a lot of stuff on the bed. There's a TV, so they would have watched TV there. There's even a globe over there. I saw that. That's cool. But this bed is pretty neat. There's even speakers here, so they had like surround sound. All that good stuff. See like a joy. Look, here's another lighter. Oh, I don't know, actually, it might work. <laughs> There's 
lot of champagne uh, boxes like this. This box is for champagne. This box is for champagne. A lot of those are all around the place. So like I said before, I think they drank a lot of champagne. But this is like the boys' room. Let's go ahead and turn this light off. Closet's still full of clothes. Everything. And guys, if you hear my stomach making any noise, I am so hungry. We have not eaten breakfast. We've only had a cup of coffee. That's literally it. And water. Like, I am starving. Like, so once we get out of here, like, we are going to chow down. And we're going to head to the next spot. And hopefully we have a little more energy there. But we are tired. This jet lag is really getting us. But I think it's time that we head downstairs and see the rest of that. Let's go and let's check out downstairs. This room is like super moldy, but this is the actual front front door of the house. But yeah, check that out. They got the nice chairs just sitting here. This staircase, I wonder if it had like a, had like rails on it or something, which it might have. Here's like an old flat screen TV. Not really too flat, but it's flat enough. This is like a cabinet with here's like a tarp, some cards in it. There's shoes and whatnot. And there's like books and there's even some poker chips and so you can play poker. There's another champagne. Now these plants are dead. You can tell. But here we get to our next living space. So this living space feels more like a den, but obviously it's not a den, but that's what it gives the feel of. There's a couch here, there's two couches here. Um, I mean, it's, it's not a bad looking room. Definitely would have been good for chilling. If you had a TV up there, maybe. Um, the fireplace is beautiful. Check this out. There's like faces carved. There's like a man and a woman there. So this is like really cool. I just really, really like this house. I love the brick that's in here. It's like shiny that this stone is like really shining. It's really glistening in here. We come back here and I'm assuming this is like an office. At least that's what it feels like. It feels like an office. A lot of books. There is an office chair there. So that's what, that's what I'm meaning by this. A lot of like files, there's filing cabinets. There's everything in here, there's stamps. So I think that the man may have worked out of this room may have done a lot of his work in here. I'm not sure what he did yet, but we'll figure it out. And you guys know it's all in the beginning. So if you haven't seen the beginning, if you're joining like for a premiere or anything, you need to go back and watch the beginning to know the history of the place. It's really cluttered. It's really uh, like ran through kind of, it's hard to like walk through here. But look, here's even a Xbox 360. <laughs> so that's a little bit older. This room is, is not, not much to see besides just like filing stuff and I mean, it's just papers and you know, we're not going to be able to read them because it's all in French and yeah. A cool room though to say the least. There's more office chairs, there's a big table here, there's like little things that are just left about and we're going to go back towards this way and here we get to a dining room. So the dining room is kind of cluttered as well. Mostly the most like time capsule looking place, which this is all a time capsule. People can live like this. The living room is like a really, really good time capsule. Look at this, we got Balmain. That's expensive. Was a wash, but it's not in there. So I'm wondering where that is. There's even the instructions for it. But yeah, this is like one of the dining rooms. And right here, look at this. Look at this little statue. It's like silver. Two people dancing. That's quite amazing. And then you got all the glasses still here, just like all the other rooms. What an amazing place. So yeah, this is like a dining room. And this is a cool thing that I just noticed walking in here. So you can see it gets a little more decayed right back here. But this is another dining room and this dining room has a skylight. Check that out. Not only does it have a skylight, there is a fish tank built in right here. So I wonder if they had, it doesn't look like it's been used in quite a long time. Like it doesn't look like it was used at all, honestly. There's no rocks, there's nothing in it. You have this area back here, which probably would have been like for plants or maybe even just like 
uh, your cat is cat food bowls and stuff like that. But yeah, you have another like this is probably for breakfast, uh, things like that. It looked like on the family photos that we saw that the dining room was actually used in the big area in there. So maybe that's what it was. The skylight is really cool. It's really decayed back this way of the house. And we have another cabinet and it's just full of stuff like knickknacks. There's uh, Bailey's. So there's alcohol. There's a lot of random things. There's coins. There is like, look, this is like a little coin thing where you put big coins here so you can collect the coins. Here's like a, it's like a gold bracelet. I don't know if that's real or not. But, yeah, just a lot of cool stuff in here. I mean, there's some skeleton keys as well. There's a lot of skeleton keys throughout Europe. I mean, they use skeleton keys to even get in their furniture. And this is the most decayed part of the house. This is the washroom and another like little kitchen area. But the washer and dryer is back there. You can see all the mold, all the debris that is falling in here. Just check it out. It's just really bad. It looks like they might have a dog too. There's some dog food in the corner. But yeah, this is like the washroom where they did their laundry and all that stuff. Guys, that is the house. I hope you guys enjoyed this place just as much as I did. I'm sorry that we are like so tired. Um, it just took a lot out of us, this place. This whole trip has been taking a lot out of us, but we are going to get some rest today and we're gonna get back on track, back on a grind, and we're gonna get this stuff done and see some amazing locations. So check out a band in Nashville if you guys don't know him. He might even be changing his name soon, so guys, be ready for that. He is an amazing guy, amazing explorer, and I'm glad that he's coming on this trip with me. Good vibes all around, and this is the best spot that we've seen so far. So, we're gonna get out of this place. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment your favorite part, and we'll see you next time. Big Banks out.